This is one of your most requested videos. Let's talk about conditionals in this video today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Kanina, we're going to talk about conditionals in this video. But before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel or a cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one of the ways that you can do that is to be a channel member. Find out more about that by clicking on the i button right here and watching that video. Or you can find the join button beside the subscribe button uh, if you're interested to find out more. All right. Thank you sa mga channel members natin. Thank you for keeping the channel afloat, lalo na sa mga downtimes natin. Thank you for all your support. And thank you for helping me help more people through our projects. And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to jump into our discussion. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so I think discussion natin ng conditionals. We're going to talk about the four kinds or types or levels. And um, ang goal lang natin ngayon is to give you an overview ng kung ano itsura nila. To give you a bit of a feeling kung kailan sila ginagamit. We're going to talk about the structure. And ang goal natin is for you to be able to adapt something na pwede mong turn into different kinds or levels ng conditionals and uh, for it to work, okay? But, don't worry if medyo naguguluhan kayo or parang bitin kayo dun sa bawat uri ng conditional kasi we're going to have a separate video discussing yung isa-isa sa kanila, okay? So again, overview lang. Meron tayong apat na kinds ng conditionals. We have the zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional, okay? So again, zero, first, second, and third. Now, you can think of it as levels ng kung gaano ka taas yung likelihood na maging totoo siya o totoo siya. Okay? We'll start with the zero conditional. Pag zero conditional, ginagamit natin ito if something is always true. If it's a fact, if it's a habit, again, lagi siya nangyayari, laging totoo. Okay? Kung maga, 100% of the time, it's going to happen. Okay? So, zero doubt conditional para madaling tandaan. Zero doubt. It's always true. Now, ang structure niya goes like this. You have the if, okay? So, with the word if, plus, nalagdagan mo siya ng present simple. Tapos, you have a comma. Ito na lang yung ginamit ko, yung parang half circle para dun sa comma. And then, yung present simple uli. Okay? And that's the end of the structure. Now, an example would look like this. Sabi niya, I, if I hear a joke, I laugh. Okay? So, again, this is something na always true for the person speaking, habit niya to, na tuwing nakakarinig siya ng magandang joke, tumatawa siya. Okay? So again, it's always true. Now, dito ko na rin isisingit na pwede actually balik ta rin yung mga conditional na mga sentences. We'll talk about that again sa individual na lang para hindi masyadong magulo at sabay-sabay sa isang topic. Pero sa zero conditional specifically, you can actually trade if for when. Now, bakit? Ganon. Kasi, ano ba pinagkaiba ng if at saka ng when? Ang if ay kapag. Okay? Ibig sabihin, may kailangan mangyari or parang hindi pa siya absolutely true. Pero pag sinabi mo ng when, ibig sabihin, it's all a matter of time. Mangyayari talaga siya. Okay? So, parang stronger yung dating niya. So, when I hear a good joke, I laugh. Ang ibig sabihin, every time I hear a good joke, automatic yon I laugh. Okay? Now, if medyo nabitin kayo doon sa if and when natin na na discussion. We have a full video. Ililink ko na lang din dito if you're watching this on YouTube. Okay? Sa i button. Kasi mayroon tayong video nun eh. If or when. Okay? Or kung or kapag. Now, dito tayo sa first conditional. So, first conditional naman, ginagamit natin ito if we're talking about a possible condition or possible action. Tapos, meron siyang kasunod na probable na result or resulta, outcome nung condition or action na yon. Okay, now, a better way to look at things would be to look at the structure. You have if pa rin, plus a present simple na statement, sabihin na lang natin na ganun, or clause, comma, and then you have your will, will na word, and then dadagdagan mo siya ng infinitive. Okay. Now, kung medyo naguluhan, ano ba yung present simple? Meron tayong full discussion din uh, na rin sa tenses, so inisa-isa na natin. Compare, compare na rin natin, pinakita ko rin sa inyo yung iba-ibang structure. Yung about present simple, ililink ko na lang dito sa taas sa i-button. Okay? Now, pagdating sa first conditional, it can look something like this. And we're going to use the same parang vein 
nung statement na yon. Kanina, sabi natin kapag zero conditional, if I hear a good joke, I laugh. Anong pinagkaiba ng zero sa first? Magkahawig sila, pero ang lalagay natin is yung word na will. Kasi ito ay probable result, ibig sabihin mangyayari pa lang. Ibig sabihin, ang gusto kong sabihin dito, and again, this is just one of the sabihin na purposes ng first conditional, is to say na alam mo, kung bibigyan mo ako ng magandang joke, tatawa ako in the future. Mangyayari to. Definitely tatawa ako. Pero meron na siyang kaunting caveat or may kaunti ng requirement, which is kung makakarinig ako ng good joke. Okay? So, you're not just stating a fact. You are saying na parang, o oh, sige, pag binigyan mo ako ng magandang joke or nagbiro ko ng maganda, I will laugh. Tatawa ko. Okay? So, again, may difference na sa feeling dun sa zero conditional. Kasi yung kanina, statement lang or fact lang siya. Now, sa second conditional, this is when things start to get a little bit tricky. Bakit? Kasi yung second conditional ginagamit natin, if something is impossible now and also unlikely in the future, or kung basically nagpapayo ka na dapat ito yung ginawa mo eh. Parang ganon. Okay? So, ang structure niya goes like this. You have your if plus a past simple only na clause or statement. Tapos meron kang comma, meron kang would, and then an infinitive. Now, anong magandang example dyan? Again, same uh, na parang spirito yung ginagamit natin sa bawat sentence, no? Or same types of words. Pero iniiba natin to fit the the kind ng conditional. Sabi dito, if I heard a good joke, kasi again, past simple na yung pinag-uusapan natin. Again, I'll link yung discussion natin on past tenses dito, ha? Ang past simple, ibig sabihin nangyari na siya sa nakaraan. Simpleng-simple lang, nangyari siya sa nakaraan. If if you underline, I heard a good joke, that is an entire sentence in itself, and it's something that happened in the past. Okay? Hindi nagpapatuloy hanggang ngayon, hindi tumakbo for some time at huminto in the past, it just was one moment in the past nangyari na. Okay? So, if I heard a good joke, tapos ito na yung kasunod, I would laugh. Okay? So, again, uh, imposible nang, in this case, imposible nang mangyari ngayon, no? Tapos na yun, nangyari na nga in the past. Parang, alam mo kung nakarinig ako ng magandang joke, tatawa ako eh. Hmm. Parang kung nakarinig sana ako ng joke dati, tatawa ako. Pero now, dito na magkakalo ng konting, ano ba, paghihiwalay yung Filipino language at English language. If you notice, I could say the exact same thing in Filipino, pero nag-iiba na ng feeling or na, na tatamaan niya na yung sinasabi natin dito sa conditionals na to. Pero mo, pag sinabi ko na, kung makakarinig ako ng, ng magandang joke, tatawa ko. Kung nakarinig ako ng magandang joke, tatawa ko. So, maliliit lang talaga yung mga differences niya. Okay? But in, in English, ito yung structure that we follow. So, you just basically have to remember that and be familiar with it. Okay? Now, next, we have the third conditional. This naman happens if it's something that definitely didn't happen. And idadagdag natin yung ano kaya yung nangyari. Kung nangyari yung something na, again, hindi nga nangyari. So, there's a feeling of, ano ba, parang regret ng kaunti. It's something na hindi mo na mababago kasi nga hindi na talaga siya nangyari. Parang kung ganito sana, eh di sana ganito. Okay? Ganun yung dating niya. Parang kung, kung ito, yung nangya, ito yung ginawa or ito yung nangyari in the past, sana ito yung nangyari. Okay? Ito yung sana feeling. Pero hindi na pwedeng mangyari talaga. Okay? So, for example, ito yung structure natin. If plus, and then you have past perfect. Again, something na nangyari in the past. A comma. And then you have your would. Pero hindi lang basta would, lalagyan mo po siya ng have. So, would have, and then your past participle. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nito, kapag may past participle din yung verb natin, yun yung gagamitin natin siya, sa kanya. For example, this sentence right here, again, following pa rin yung structure nung dati, convert natin siya sa third conditional, which will change the meaning. Sabi, if I had heard a good joke, I would have laughed. So, kung i-imagine natin yung sitwasyon, yung unang-unang nangyari sa zero conditional, sinasabi niya lang na yun ang lagi nangyayari sa kanya. Sa pangalawa, sinasabi niya, o parang dinadare ka niya na, sige, biruin mo ko na maganda para tumawa naman ako. So, again, it's parang anticipation of the future. Sa so, second conditional, ano na siya? Um, parang wala na. Um, hindi nangyari. Probably, hindi na rin mangyayari yung, yung kasunod. No? So, may onti na, na parang medyo lumipas yung opportunity. O kaya, again, kailangan baguhin. 
Pero yung third conditional is a totally different level kasi again, para may feeling na ng regret. Alam mo, parang sinasabi mo na, alam mo, kung kung nung nangyari 'yon, kasi nung gabi, maybe three days ago, kung nakarinig ako ng magandang joke, tatawa naman sana ako eh. Kaya lang hindi. Okay? So again, it's something that didn't happen and what could have happened kung nangyari yon in the past. But again, there's basically no, so hindi natin no, parang no hope in the future na. Kasi tapos na eh. If I had heard a good joke, I would have left. But I didn't. I didn't laugh because I did not hear a good joke. Ganun yung feeling niya. Okay? So again, ito yung apat. Again, it's an oversimplification. We're just running through itong, tatl- itong apat na ito na structures. Uh, but I hope nararamdaman nyo yung pagkakaiba nila at the very least. And you see yung mga kailangan idagdag or baguhin. Kasi we're going to have our quick quiz sa four kinds of conditionals. And ang challenge siya inyo is, I will give you a statement. And then, you have to convert it or turn it in, into the different kinds ng conditionals. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng statement na in zero conditional. Tapos, gagawin yung first, gagawin yung second, and third. Alright? And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, ito yung statement natin. Again, zero conditional. If I love someone, I try to understand him. Again, statement of fact. Totoo to. At least para sa speaker or swing ko na para sa akin. So, if I love someone, I try to understand him. Walang, walang exceptions. Okay? Now, first conditional. Now, again, kapag first conditional na, simple, present pa rin, pero meron ng will. Okay? Doon sa kasunod. Okay? So, this will be, and I hope tama kayo, If I love someone, I will try to understand him. Okay? So, anong pinagkaiba? Again, very simple. You have the will. Okay? As the first part nung second na, na pinaka-half nung sentence. Okay? Now, yung second na conditional tayo. Okay? Again, same thing. Loving someone and, and, and trying to understand him. Ano mangyayari? Ganito siya. If I loved someone... I would try to understand him. Bakit? Kasi again, yung first part, magiging simple past na siya. So, yung love, magiging loved. If I loved someone, tapos yung will, magiging would, basically. Okay? So, I would try to understand him. Okay? Kasi ang structure natin is if past simple, comma, would, and then yung infinitive. Now, third. Pag third uh, kind of conditional or third level, ang gagawin na natin is this, no? Masahaba siya. And it will actually change yung feeling. Again, nung conditional natin. If I had loved someone, I would have tried to understand him. Okay? So again, tapos na, lipas na, okay? Parang may kaunting, um, ano ba? Pa- parinig ng kaunti, pasaring, or ano? Parang it's something na, again, hindi na nangyari in the past. So, if I had loved someone, ito sana yung nangyari. I would have tried to understand him. Okay? So, I hope you got yung structure right. If you're off by a few words or na na pag-convert ng tense, that's okay. You can try again. And again, we'll be posting more examples naman din. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you can check out yung aking Instagram stories. That's where I post the quick quizzes. And, of course, you can follow uh, at Team Laika din. It's on Instagram then. It's another separate account where we post yung mga throwback questions and, uh, of course, updates sa mga ganap natin sa mga webinars na libre. We're going to have a lot of workshops in the future. So, dun yung siya abangan. And if you're on TikTok, you can follow me at Team Laika on TikTok for the math and English videos. We also have quick quizzes then. 
uh, with uh, explainers and full lessons ng mga topics na feeling ko masyadong simple para gawing full YouTube video. And, of course, at like a maravilla naman for the more personal videos, mga motivational tips, uh, advice, uh, reaction videos, and of course, yung ano ba, <laughs> fun na rin. So, that's where I get to be creative sometimes. Alright? See you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and you exam din sila. That way, we're going to help you. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. You can also visit our merch shop sa shop.teamlaika.com to get shirts like this, yung trying hard shirt natin or the other designs that I made for this team. Salamat sa mga bumili na, sa mga bibili pa lang. Maraming salamat din. And thank you again for helping me Um, keep the lights on. Sabihin na lang natin. Okay? Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. Marami pa tayong mga lessons na paparating. And as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja-adja. Kain yan. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now.